Today we will be talking about plastic consumption. So what is plastic consumption? Plastic consumption is the amount of plastic us humans consume. Plastic consumption can affect the environment, animals, and even ourselves. There are enough plastics in the ocean to circle the earth 425 times. You know, my grandpappy was telling me about all this trash out in these oceans. Do you believe that malarkey? Uh, I mean, I haven't seen any of it. I've heard it on the news, but I mean... Shoot, I haven't I've seen nothing seen wash it. up on shore, have you? No. Oh, I don't oh. Hey, 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 yo, I oh. got a bite. Hey, you oh. got one. Reel this bad boy in, boy! Let's get it in here! What is it? What the heck is this thing? I have no idea. Is it? So, I can't, I can't tell what it is. Let's see if we can figure out what this thing is. It's got a piece of trash on its head. Here, here. Let me pull it. Is pull it, the trash off of it. Is it, is it Loch Ness Monster? Oh! What the heck? Yeah, what the heck? I'm a turtle. What are you doing with a bag on your head, boy? It's because humans always polluting the oceans. We did that? Yeah. You don't want to take 17 pieces of trash to kill me? Yeah, can you believe that we did this? No, I mean, I, I didn't think our trash from our homes would end back up in the water. That's I crazy, mean. man. To think that just because we put it in a landfill and it washes into these oceans and hurts all these poor turtles like him, I feel bad about that. Poor little fella don't even know what to do. I swear, this poor thing looks so scared, I don't even know what to do with it. I, I don't know, he looks rough. I'm glad we saved him though. I am too, but to be honest, I don't really want him. He's kind of nasty looking. But we saved him, that's all that matters, so let's just toss him back. Alright. Alright, let's get this fellow unhooked. Alright now, get out of here. Shoot. Yeah, can, can you believe that? We saved a turtle. That's a job well done, buddy. You want to crack a cold brewski? Yeah, but, but this put time, it, put it in this place. Exactly. We ain't throwing it back in the ocean. I mean, trash. We, we could have prevented all this by using the three R's. Reduce. Reuse and recycle. That's all that matters. Over one million turtles die every year from the effects of plastic pollution. Even before turtles get to the ocean, after hatching from their eggs on the beach, they can easily be distracted by plastic trash on the beach due to its unusually bright colors and miss their target of the ocean until it's too late and they never reach the ocean. There is a 20% chance of death for a turtle after consuming just one piece of trash. It is estimated that over 15 million pieces of trash littered the Earth's oceans as of 2018. Other species that are affected by plastic pollution are seals, sea lions, seabirds, fish, whales, and dolphins. An estimated 700 marine species are affected by plastic pollution. Some estimates say that around 100 million marine animals are killed every year from plastic pollution, with seabirds being among the most vulnerable. In an eight-year study in Alaska and British Columbia, there were 388 sea lions documented as entangled in plastic debris. Fish that bring in water through their gills are increasingly at risk to microplastic debris infestation, where these microplastics can potentially damage their organs, thus leading to their death. Humans are affected by plastic in more ways than one. Chemicals and plastics are released into the atmosphere and water, affecting many organisms in its path. Whether it's the toxic chemicals in our plastic bottles or eating contaminated fish in the ocean, it all comes back to harm us. Applying body lotion, drinking hot coffee from a styrofoam cup, or simply eating microwave food in a plastic container allow chemicals from plastic to easily migrate into the body. Over the next 10 years, the plastic in the oceans can increase by over 40%. So what's something we can do to help solve this problem? I think our most viable solution would be using the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So that way we can help this little guy. It's all about saving people like him. Cute fella. Some of the easiest ways to stop consuming so much plastic starting from your home are by using reusable bottles instead of plastic bottles, by cooking more at home instead of ordering takeout, and by simply recycling when you do use plastic. Four main principles that should be followed are reduce, reuse, recycle, and educate. Reduce the amount of plastic you consume in your daily life Count how much times you use plastic and find a solution to replace it such as taking your own reusable bags to the grocery store instead of using the plastic ones from there. Also, make sure to pick up litter and volunteer for environmental events such as beach cleanups. We all need to do our part to reduce the amount of plastic consumption. 